massive fan of Brick Magazine. And the reason I say that is just it talks about emerging markets. Not only that, you get a feel of the different, you know, the, the different type of people from around the world who, who, who've done something, you know, not only substantial, but, you know, movers and shakers. The purpose of this event is to get together the industry professional and to brainstorm of how to increase the value of their brand when it comes to emerging markets clients. You know, London's an interesting place because it's, you open a store in London, but you're not looking to sell to the British. You're looking to sell to the, the people who come to London and call it their home, but are not really looking to come. So we, we don't want especially a celebrity, but we'd rather go for a CEO, as I said, or an artist, or a big architect, or a photographer. Somebody that's achieved something other than fame, <laughs> if that makes any kind of sense. It has to be someone who is perhaps well traveled, well, well educated. It's tailoring to that individual's needs and showing respect to that person's custom and where they're from and, and also how they expect you to do business with them. So it's not doing things so much on your terms but looking out for the best interest of that person. Because I want it like that. I have Chinese people, I have Spanish people, I have South American people and French as well. It is important for a few uh, communities to be able to communicate and exchange in their languages. That's for sure. Be aware of cultures, the culture difference, etiquette. Etiquette's really important in real relationships, I would say. It's not really about, um, you know, blanket advertising. It's a one-on-one -on -one experience. You get much more return when you send like a paper or an actual thing, like a catalogue or a magazine. I took down the magazines when we had the business networking event, just remembering in passing that he liked it, and it just sparked a conversation. It was actually the professionalism of the magazine which interpreted it to the services that I then offered him as a result. Print, um, you know, is really here to stay when it comes to luxury brands as opposed to, uh, to digital because it will always cover that sphere of high quality.